Hello friends, this is Roshni. In this video, we are going to see about optimization of the basic blocks, uh, which is an compiler design. So, we know what is basic block is that we discussed in the previous video. So, we have three set of three address uh, instructions. That three address instruction is uh, divided into or partition into some basic blocks depending on some rules. That's what we saw in the previous video. So, we have so many basic blocks for the set of three address code. So, this basic blocks we are going to optimize. So, we are going to optimize this basic block. So, there is no need to change the set of expression computed by the block. So, that we, that we will maintain it. So, there are two types of basic block optimization. One is structure preserving transformation another one is algebraic transformation so we'll see in detail about this two types of uh, optimization of the basic block so the first one is structure pres uh, preserving transformation under this we have this many types of optimization and we are going to see each and every one of this with an example so the first one is common sub expression elimination let us see that so here uh, there may be a basic block which has a common sub expression so if you see here b plus c and this is also b plus c both are common sub expression and again if you see a minus d here is also a minus d so these two sub expressions are repeated so we have to eliminate it but before we eliminate we have to take care of one thing so if you see here a equal to b plus c and b and c value have an initial value then in the second instruction b value is altered so b is assigned with some other value by computing a minus d but in the third exp uh, expression so in the third instruction we are again doing b plus c but this value is different this b value is different so we cannot eliminate this two sub expression but if you see a minus d in between this uh, statement this two next uh, sub expression there is no change in the value of a also there is no change in the value of d so this sub expression can be eliminated so hope you have understand this cannot be eliminated b plus c value cannot be eliminated since the b value is changing before the next common sub expression but a minus d can be eliminated since there is no change between the next common sub expression so this is the original basic block and this is the optimized basic block so here we can see this d equal to a, min a minus d this a minus d don't want to be computed once again instead we can write this b directly to d so this b is assigned to d here so this is called common sub expression elimination so we will see one more example here so here if you see i plus 1 and here also we have i plus 1 but in between if you see there is no change in i plus 1 so there is no need to have this computation once again but if you see here i plus 1 is assigned to some other variable t3 so we are going to eliminate it so the same result is already available in t1 so in the place of t3 we have to substitute t1 that we have to take care so this is the code uh, basic block before optimization and this is the code after optimization so this first instruction is present as it is second instruction is also present as it is but there is no need of the third instruction because it is already available so we have eliminated it and here instead of t3 we have written t1 a of t1 equal to t2 so this is an example for eliminating the common expression here again an example so here we have used a constant value i is 4 and here we are computing i plus 1 so already 4 is constant so instead of writing i plus 1 we can directly write as 5 so we have i equal to 1 and directly we have written 5 and the other two codes but here if you see here we are using t1 so which is again a constant so instead of writing t1 here again we can directly write the constant value as 5 
and if you see here there is no need of this again then if you write phi here directly so there is no need of this temporary variable so we can optimize this basic block as i equal to 4 then there is no need of this t1 because we are directly using phi wherever this t1 is because it is a constant there is no need of change of the value so i equal to 4 is there then t2 equal to b of phi then again this statement t1 is again replaced by phi so a of phi equal to t2 so these are some of the examples so the next code optimization uh, therefore the basic block is dead code elimination so let us uh, discuss dead code elimination by example which means in a program sometimes we will write uh, programs but uh, after writing so many codes sometimes we will forget to uh, delete some of the code which are not needed sometimes we, we might have declared it and we defined once but we might have forgotten to remove that so and because of that code there may be no purpose also no use also so those code can be eliminated so let us see an example for that here if you see x equal to 0 then we are checking if x equal to equal to 1 then this expression is evaluated but if you know that already we said x equal to 0 and in between there is no change in the x value but here we are saying x equal to equal to 1 so never the value will be 1 so there is this two codes will never be executed so there is uh, no need of writing this dead code so it is a dead code because it is never going to be executed so we can eliminate this type of dead code and so the optimized code of this is just write x equal to 0 since this code will be never be reached and there is no use of this so this is called dead code elimination next is renaming temporary variable so let us see that with the example so we will be understanding more well so here if you see t equal to b plus c so t1 is a temporary variable and we have another temporary variable t2 which have a minus t1 no problem then we are using the same temporary variable t1 again for computing some other instruction or some other expression so if you use the same temporary variable once again what happen is the result we got and stored here will be uh, like overwritten and this information will be lost so this t1 value we have already saved will be overwritten or eliminated and the new value will be updated in this temporary variable t1 so in later case if you want this value we cannot get it so what we can do is in this case instead of using the same temporary variable once again we will use a new temporary variable for t1 so that we can able to maintain or retain this value as well as the newly computed an expression so here in this optimized code we have t1 equal to b plus c also the next statement t2 equal to a minus t1 and then instead of using the same temporary variable here we are using t3 a new temporary variable so because of that we could able to retain this tem this value as well as we will getting this new value also retained and then here we are using t1 here right so this value is used here so in this place we have to carefully say here because now t1 is replaced by t3 so we have to carefully replace that t1 with the newly assigned temporary variable t3 so this is what the renaming temporary variable next one is in the change of statement so sometimes there may be some reason uh, if you could able to in the in the change some uh, expression so here we'll see that example so if you for example here if you interchange this two they may not this two statements and they may not if there is no uh, problem or no affecting of any other variable because of this then there is no problem in exchanging or interchanging this two instructions so here uh, while interchanging we should take care that because of this interchange no other change or no other effect or effect should be there in the basic block of code so here t1 is b plus c and here uh, then t2 is a minus t1 t3 is t1 into d so this t1 is also used here 
so we can exchange interchange this t2 and t3 uh, instructions so first we can write t3 here then we can write t2 it's depend upon our convenient and our use so here we have interchange this two instruction t2 instruction and t3 instruction so if it is uh, not affecting any other value then don't no problem in interchanging of the statements depending upon the convenient and efficiency of the program the next is code movement so uh, involving code movement also be very useful to make the code more optimized and also because of that we can reduce the time wastage during the runtime so that we will see with an example so that we will understand it more here if you see this code this for loop is using the variable j and n and this is what happening here the array value is updated but if you see this instruction x equal to y plus z this is not involved in any way with this for loop but unnecessarily every time until this condition is reached x equal to y plus z is computed but this value is not changed at all so unnecessary the running time is wasted so what we can do we can move this code up um, out of this for loop so we have moved x equal to y plus z out of this for loop so that we can uh, reduce the unnecessary running time of this instruction inside the for loop so this is the use of code movement so this is an optimized code of this the next is compile time evaluation so under compile time evaluation we have two things one is constant folding and constant propagation we'll see one by one first let us discuss on constant folding so here if you see this example 22 divided by 7 is an expression uh, we have to evaluate it but both are constant so unnecessarily we are making to do this expression evaluation during the runtime so instead of writing 22 divided by 7 directly we can write it as 3.14 so unnecessary computation of this constant can be reduced this is called constant folding so the expression that contain the operands having constant value at the compile time are evaluated so those expressions are replaced with respective value so that unnecessary evaluation can be reduced so this is one of the thing in compile time evaluation so the next thing is constant propagation so here if you see we have pi as 3.14 that is a constant the next thing is radius equal to 10 that is again a constant so this both constants are used in this expression evaluation so already pi is a constant radius is a constant and again this radius is also constant so how will you evaluate it 3.14 into 10 into 10 so so unnecessary we are making some assignment and we are doing the constant computation here so instead of writing like this we can directly write this is 314 so that can be done so that is constant propagation it is propagating this constant is keep on propagating affecting another 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 instructions but we should be before doing this direct computation we should be uh, ensure we should ensure that this values are not changed in between or this values are not updated in between before we are doing any expression evaluation so that one thing alone we have to keep in mind otherwise this kind of constant propagation can be reduced and optimized so the next one is strength reduction so we know that if we see this example uh, normally we know multiplication evaluation is more costlier and expensive so instead of doing this multiplication operator operation what we can do a into 2 so we know that multiplication is repeated addition so we can instead of writing a into 2 a multiplication that can be reduced by a plus a so this is also strength reduction so we can reduce the cost or, or uh, cost of evaluating this expression so this is called strength reduction and so, so this is this next type of optimizing code block so first one we saw this is the next thing that is algebraic transformation so in algebraic transformation 
we can change the set of expression into an algebraically equivalent set. So, for example, if you see here, see, if we have written an expression x equal to x plus 0, but it's actually x equal to x, so it is an x. So, again, if you see x equal to x into 1, so unnecessarily we are doing a multiplication, but actually it is x equal to x only. So, we can also, uh, so this is one type of transformation can be optimized. Another one is constant folding. We have already saw this. So, instead of writing a constant expression evaluation, right, like in phi into 2.7, we can directly write the value. This are all coming under this algebraic transformation. Here, if you see one more example, so here, uh, t equal to a minus a. So, absolutely a minus a is 0 only. So, instead of writing an expression evaluation, you can directly put t1 equal to 0. And here, b minus t1. So, b minus uh, t1, which means b minus 0. t1 is 0. So, b minus uh, 0 is b only. So, instead of writing an expression unnecessarily and doing some computation, we can directly write it as t2 equal to b. Then here again we have a multiplication. So, already we saw it is more costlier, right? So, instead of doing right this multiplication, we can use left shift operator. Hope you know this. So, this can be uh, done in 2 powers, 2 power 0, 2 power 1. So, this 4 can be 2 power 2. So, 2 power n is that. So, here n value is 2. So, here we have to do 2 times of 2 times we have to do left shift. So, this multiplication can also be done using this left shift. So, this type of optimization can also be done under algebraic. And some more example on that is, see, eliminate computation like this. A into 1 is, instead of writing A into 1, directly write as A. A into 0 is obviously 0 only. We can directly write as 0. And A divided by 1 can be written as A. Then uh, reduce trend, like if instead of writing A into 2, you can write A plus A. Instead of writing a divided by uh, 2, so division can be replaced with multiplication. It's more better. And instead of writing a constant expression evaluation, we can directly write the value of it. So all this type of optimization are all coming under algebraic transformation. So hope you have understand with an example how we can able to optimize the basic blocks in compiler. Thank you for listening. Thank you.